Anyway, and one more thing before we get to something you've got going on. This is an email from David. Remember we were talking about Kevin Dunn and he's done in the WWE, no pun intended, of course it was. And uh, the clip is out there on YouTube because everybody was very anticipatory of, oh, Cornette's going to love tearing him up. It's like they booted him out the f***ing door, right? <laughs> Threw his on top of him and said, don't come back. I said, no, I can't gloat like that if we had, you know, they'd found the improper photos of him with, you know, a nanny goat because he's left, he's got tens of millions of dollars out of this thing with the stock, blah, blah, blah. I said, you know, look at it. He doesn't have to do anything he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to work for anybody but Vince. Now it's come since we did that clip. It's come out that there was already tension with the new ownership, and Kevin had felt disrespected by whoever he had talked to and whatever they'd said to him. And, of course, the the high muckety-mucks up there talking about cutting, you know, uh, expenses and and synergizing the staff so that they eliminate positions that are doubled in the UFC and WWE. And one of them made a comment about, yeah, I've dealt with every producer that treats each camera like it's a baby and doesn't want to lose it. So there was shit going on. Kevin Dunn just said, oh, fuck it, I'm, I'm taking my tens of millions of dollars and, and going fucking home and they can fuck themselves probably is because he's a miserable human being. But I couldn't gloat in it because of the tens of millions of dollars and leaving on his own, and he gave him like a week's notice, right? I'm, I'm done fucking Monday, and it's a holiday weekend, by the way. And so anyway, in the process, you remember that conversation we had, Brian? Of course, yeah. Well, I asked you one simple question. You had one job. Because I'd mention, I said, what is Kevin Dunn? He's like 70. I said, look at the state of him, right? Look at that fucking face. Even though he had his teeth finally fixed, still the, the state, it looks like somebody gave him a fucking buzz cut like Sergeant Carter in Gomer Powell USMC and then took tweezers and plucked half his hair out and scared him so the other half turned gray. So even if he does have a human-looking set of teeth in his mouth instead of the goddamn dentures of a goddamn rodent. He still is a, 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 a not a cosmetically pleasing-looking human being, right? I said, he's got to be, is he 70? And you looked it up, and you said he's 68. And I said, well, see, I was close enough, right? But you know what you did, Brian? What's that? Apparently, there is an actor named Kevin Dunn, as well as a noted dam-building member of the Roden family that's worked for the WWE for the last 40 years named Kevin Dunn, and you looked him up. That The actor Kevin Dunn, whoever that may be, is 68 years old, but according to David here, I got it on paper, so it must be true, the WWE's Kevin Dunn is 61 years old. He was born in 1962. Now I got something to gloat about. You Bucky Beaver motherfucker. I'm a year older than you are, and look at the fucking state of your presence. For now I can fucking gloat. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm glad we're handling this in a mature way. Well, you don't expect anything else but maturity and probity from me, do you? I knew he wasn't 70. That didn't sound right. And when I saw well, 68, 68, I was like, what? This thing yeah. can't be right either. But turns out it wasn't. So that means they made him producer of the whatever the fuck they made him producer of when he was 21 years old. That poor actor who any time anyone Googles his name gets an image of... Bucky yeah. Beaver. Bucky Beaver. People with big teeth and the fucking <laughs> Minnesota Gophers mascot. Yeah, you motherfucker. He's like, why? I'm not from Minnesota. I don't know what's going on here. Why are these people sending me beavers? Is this some kind of psychosexual game? Who's up for the role of President Roosevelt? We're talking about Kevin Dunn. Oh, Google him. What does he look like? Oh, no. <laughs> My God, those teeth. <laughs> He, he had polio, not leprosy. 
<laughs> All right. Well, anyway, before we get to the uh, the better part of the program, um, 